whoa, I think we did it. <laughs> you know, it helps when you're going live if you log into the correct account because I <laughs> was logged into the wrong account. I'm like, I know I did this right. I am certain I did the right thing. And apparently I, uh, I didn't do the right thing. I logged into the wrong account and I was looking for the saved live stream. So found it. We're here. We're only like two minutes, two minutes, three minutes. We're only a few minutes late. Don't worry about it. It's all good. We're here. It's good. Let's get it rolling. Yes, we're live streaming vertically today because this is what YouTube is asking us to do. So we thought, you know what? We tried it the other day on the vlog channel. We're going to try it today on this channel. So maybe we, uh, well, you're right, Dan. They cannot start without me. I mean, the dogs, I don't know if they could push these buttons on their own. Um, but yeah, so we're trying something a little bit different. We're going to see if it works. Let me know how this looks because looking at it on my TV, it looks horrible. Uh, looking at it on my computer, it looks great. But looking at it on my TV, it looks like that. So hopefully nobody else has that same issue. Oh, that's weird. Um, yes, I have you guys on my TV as well because I want to be able to read comments because this only has a little tiny line of comments. Not only do I have you on my TV, but I also have you on my computer over here so that I don't miss super chats. So that's how we're doing this today. And Jim, you were right. Even though my TV looks glitchy for some reason, which is weird. That's so weird. Hopefully yours doesn't look like that on the television. Um, it does look good on the TV because it's got uh, the chat on the side, which is really nice. Oh, it says it's my connection on my TV. Pfft, I ain't worried about that. Um, yeah, so let's get this started. If you guys have never joined us for a live stream, basically what this is, is Kevin, thank you for the super chat. I'll read it in just a second. Basically what this is, is this is a hangout live stream Q and A. We're just kind of chilling, hanging out with the dogs. It gives you guys a chance to ask us questions. If you have any questions, Please do not be offended if I cannot answer every single question. The chat tends to go really fast, but we'll try to do what we can as we go. There is an FAQ down in the video description below that will have an answer to some of the basic questions that some new people may be asking. Um, yeah, so other than that, super chats I try to answer first, basically because they're highly... Brittany, you're crazy, girl. Thank you for the amazing super chat, Brittany. Um, super chats I try to answer... First, because again, you guys are supporting the channel by paying for a super chat, so I do try to get to those first. And then anybody who's a member, I do try to make sure to notice your stuff because you guys have the cute little emojis next to your name. Which, by the way, if you are a member of this channel, drop those emojis so everybody who's not a member can see what it is or what they are so they know what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this live stream. We also had a super chat from Kevin. And it said, hi, Jess, Jamie, Memphis, Kira, and Eleanor. Jamie is around. He is uh, downstairs working on some stuff, and he's moderating the chat from down there. So you'll probably see him pop up a chat here and there. He might come up and visit us. We will see. He's working on some stuff down there. So I told him not to worry about it, that we would just hang out up here. And if he wants to come join, he can. I just got a snow squall warning. Holy cow. Why does Kira randomly pin Eleanor down? Um, hi, Nancy. Um, I mean, it's not random. This is all day, every day. The Hi, Helen, they play like this all the time, pretty much. I mean, I don't film 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but I could put up a video like this every single day of these two doing this. Once in a while, Memphis will join in. Hey, Crystal. Once in a while, Memphis will join in, but not always. <laughs> but, oh. Memphis, Memphis is sitting right here with her tipper tappers. There they go. There's the tipper tappers. There's them tipper tappers. Oh my goodness. Uh, so if you guys haven't heard yet, we have a ton, ton, ton of travel coming up. Down in the video description below, there's a link to our... I think there's a link to our events. If not, it's on our Beacons page, or you can go to gonetothesnowdogs.com, or I'm sure Dan will be amazing and post a link to our events page in the chat. Uh... Uh, thank you, Christine, for the super chat. Your first super chat. Woo, let's celebrate the first super chat on a live stream for us. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Um, if you guys have not heard, we have... Oh, Memphis is going to join. Memphis is thinking about it. Memphis is going to go lay down in her other spot. Nope, she's going to go get her lammy. You going to get your lammy toy? Okay, maybe not. Um, so we have a ton of travel coming up here in the next month and a half. We have some expos that we're going to be... There she goes that we're gonna be meeting you guys at. 
So hopefully you guys will be able to come out and meet us at some of those. Hello, Rosa. Rosa, a member for 36 months. Hello again. How is Memphis doing? Have her liver levels continued to go down? So um, if you guys have are new here and haven't been around for a while, Memphis has some liver levels that have been off. The last time we went and had them checked, they were like half of what they were, which is awesome. Where am I sending people to see the events? You can send them to our Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash gone to the snow dogs slash events, I think. Or if you click on events, that tab will come up. Or you can go to gone to the snow dogs.com and there's a button that says meet and greet and that will take you right to the events listings. Um, so anyway, back to Memphis's liver levels. Memphis had some liver levels that were a little bit off. Well, they were quite a bit off, actually. Look at you go, Memphis. I love you. And uh, so we've been putting her on some supplements and things to get them back down. We got them down to about half using the Adored Beast liver supplements, which I can actually show you guys here in just a minute. She was supposed to go on Wednesday on Valentine's Day to get a uh, little sty slash eyelid tumor removed from her eye. And when we woke up that morning to take her in, it's gone. Can we see your eye up close? It was on this eye right here on her lower eyelid and it disappeared. Uh, the reason I'm telling you that is she was also supposed to get her liver levels tested that day to see where they were at. So I have to make her another appointment where she'll go in and get just that done. But yeah, that's a thing. Um, why do the dogs like Squirrel Friend? I mean, why why would they not like Squirrel Friend? Squirrel Friend is amazing. By the way, your live stream looks perfect on my screen. Good, because my TV's freaking out. But that's okay. Like I said, I only have it up there on the TV so that I can see you guys' chat. See, I have the chat up here on the TV. It helps so I hopefully don't miss as much of it. Um, is it just me or does Eleanor look like Shelby? Eyes, sin, eyes and fur. And Oakley, darkest fur. Eleanor looks like Eleanor. <laughs> I mean, you know, realistically, she looks like Eleanor. Um, but yeah, when do you think you're going to get another dog? Not anytime soon. I mean, we can say that, but, you know, we don't really know. Maybe sometime soon. <laughs> you just never know. Oh, hold on a second. I got to close some things out over here and on my computer. Because like I said, I also have you guys open on my computer so that I can keep track of the super chats and the members. Oh, you drank a bunch of water, didn't you? She's like, I sure did. Video seems to be okay on my phone. Nice. Back out of the TV and go back into it. That might fix it. Eh, I'm not worried about it. I'm not watching it on the TV. I'm just looking at it for the chat. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so Memphis did not actually end up having her procedure on Wednesday because the thing disappeared from her eye. She could have rubbed it off on her own. There's a whole lot of different things that could happen. How are Memphis, Kira, and Eleanor doing? Does Ice Princess Kira still love snow? Of course she does. They're all doing really good. They're all doing really, really good. Sorry I can't come to all the events. I wouldn't expect anybody except for us to come to all of the events. There's a lot of events, though. We're going to be in New Jersey. We're going to be in Virginia. We're going to be in Canada twice. And then Novi, but Novi is not till the end of the year. That's all we know of so far. I know some of you have asked about us coming back to Hershey, Pennsylvania. We don't have any information on that yet. I don't know if that's happening again this year or not. I hope so, because it was super fun, but I don't know. Have the dogs been sledding? They've been sledding twice this season. Um, ooh, be careful, if it's gonna get you. They've been, they've been sledding twice this season. I thought I was gonna take them out because we just got more snow like there's there's quite a bit of snow out there actually but the roads where you see that nice white snow the roads underneath that are solid ice so in the spots where there's no snow it's super super slippery which is dangerous so we might and it's the weekend i don't like taking them on the trails on the snowmobile trails on the weekend because you know we just got snow we haven't had it for a while so the snowmobilers are usually out on the trail but maybe monday if we still have the snow and the weather's nice you get her get her we uh we might we might take them out sledding memphis is like i'm thinking about playing with you and eleanor's like i don't really know who's here where's the squirrel it's not here i was kidding <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, all the events are listed on the events page can you make a sunday for the dogs we've done we did a banana split once we've done a couple different ice cream things for the dogs i would like to request a no dog cedar point i would like to request a no dog cedar point in october meetup event i mean we might be able to make that happen 
We might. I don't know. Be careful, Memphis. You, she, I don't think you can take her down, Memphis. You can try, but I don't think you can. She's like, I might try. She's like, if Kira holds her this way, maybe I can get her this way. <laughs> Girls, you're so crazy. You're so crazy. Uh, there's a P.O. box listed down in the video description below, or maybe Dan can post it in the chat. That's where you can send stuff to the dogs, like artwork and stuff like that. <laughs> All of those things. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. Where's the squirrel? You know what's really funny? The dogs are perfectly calm until I start talking, and then they just do this. If When I sit here and live stream, this is all they do. I mean, they do this other times as well, but mainly when I get on the live stream. Are you going to get her down? Are you get don't hurt yourself. Hey, that's what I didn't want. I said don't hurt yourself. <laughs> That was Eleanor that squawked, by the way. She doesn't know how to react when Memphis is playing. She's never sure what to do. See how she, now she's like, hi, Memphis, maybe I will play with you. Maybe I will not play with you, but maybe I will play with you. I, Memphis, she just doesn't know how to play with you. You scare her sometimes. <laughs> Who's out there? Where's that squirrel? Where is it? Where's that squirrel? Is it out there? Let's see. Let's go look for him. Let's see. Squirrel friend has been here today. You can see his little paw printies out there. Yeah, don't squeak the puppy, Memphis. Uh, you can see his little paw prints out there. There's no peanuts out there for him, though, so I don't know if he'll uh, if he'll end up coming to visit or not. But Kira's like, we got to look for him. He could be under Mom's Jeep. He could be up in a tree. He could be anywhere. Brittany, thank you for the member super chat. Brittany says they know it's time. Ooh, they know it's time to perform. They do know it's time to perform. Hey, you can't unplug things. My computer might die if you unplug it. I got the plushie! Oh, speaking of the plushie, there's a pinned comment up at the top in the chat. There is only five days left to get the limited edition Kira Ice Princess plushie. You can see it's got the cute little blue paw prints. It's got her frozen apple. It's got her little thing that says Kira. Got her little fluffy tail on the back there. Five days. That's it. Five days, and it's never coming back. So if you've been waiting, you only got five days left. Five days left, and that's it. Have you guys went to a cabin with the dogs yet this year? No. How's the new laptop doing? I don't know. It's sitting over there. I still, it's set up. I just haven't actually switched over to it yet because... I don't know. Are you ever going to bring back the other plushies? No. So the way the plushies work is they're limited edition, which means... Once that design is released, it will never be released again. Otherwise, that wouldn't be limited edition. It wouldn't be a collector's. Hey, you got some stuff in your eye. Let me get that. Can I get that? Thanks. Oh, I got it. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't be limited edition. So, no. They, there's going to be another Eleanor plushie, a different design. And then I think we're going to be done with plushies for a while. We do have some pins available. We've got some other things coming out. Like in our Etsy store, we have pins, which I don't even know if my Etsy store is active. For the hour before I started this live stream, I was fighting with Etsy because they were trying to get me to verify my information. And I'm like, my information's all verified. So they said they were going to put my store in vacation mode. So I don't really know. I don't really know. Is the flow mode on? What? I don't know what that means. Yes, slow mode is on in chat. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Hey. Hey, where's the squirrel? Hey, oh wait, I got an idea. Where's the thing? Where's the other thing? Has it been, fi oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet. We gotta wait. How many dogs have you owned in your life? Six. Why aren't the plushies on Etsy? I, the plushies, I don't sell the plushies. My, I don't have them made myself. Um, they're made through Makeship. So it's a different company that does those. Hey, girls, could you calm down for two seconds? Please, thanks. That's what I thought. <laughs> Uh, oh, I just saw another super chat. Hold on, let me go back to it. Ellis Van something. How's Danielle doing? They're home. They're back home today. She has two more rounds of chemo. Kira, Kira, who's there? Kira, could you leave her alone? Memphis, what are we going to do with these dogs? Huh? What are we going to do with them? Hey, who's there? It's nobody. I swear it's nobody. I swear it's nobody. <laughs> um... There's a 15 set. You like you can post a, a chat and then it's 15 seconds before you can post another one. My Etsy store is still act active. Thank you, Brittany. They told me today they were going to put it in vacation mode and do all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so crazy. 
Like, it's just, it's, it's so crazy. Yes, I could let them outside, but it's windy. Like, it's very, here, I'll show you how windy it is. My little, my little hummingbird. Oh, of course he stopped. See my little hummingbird guy out there? See how he's shaking? Oh, look, there he is. He came back. Hi, buddy. Oh, and he's gone. You skirt him. You skirt him away. He scurried right out of here. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe. Maybe he will. Look at Eleanor's tongue sticking out. Can you see it? Focus on Eleanor. Your little tongue sticking out. <laughs> he was there. Oh, there he is. Hi. Hello. You're live on the interwebs. There's 366 people watching you. You need a name. There's no peanuts out there. There's some corn under the snow there, buddy. That's Mr. Squirrel Friend. That's the dog's best friend. He's not really scared of them, but like you saw how when they jumped at the window, he ran away. He doesn't like the fast motion, but once they just stand here and like stare at him, he's fine. You're little. You're not the same one. Bye. You're not the same one that was here this morning. What do you think, huh? Squirrel Friend made his debut on today's live stream as well. He's like, I'm debuting on all the live streams, guys. And I actually think that was a different one that was here uh, than was here yesterday. Look at that. We got to see Squirrel Friend. What do you think of that, Memphis? Memphis is like, I don't know. I didn't get up. How do I become a member? There's a button you can click that says join. That's how you become a member. Are you getting the trailer wrapped, magnets, or nothing? So, Jim, we leave for our first trip in 10 days. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get it done in 10 days. But I wanted to get something put on it. But I don't know if that will happen or not. So we'll see. We shall see. Uh, I did talk to my friend Ryan who owns Omega Electric who does. Oh, i got to make sure I have enough stickers. Dan, remind me to check to see if I have enough stickers after the live stream. Um, he prints a lot of my stickers and stuff. And I talked to him and he was like super excited and was like, oh, yeah, we can put whatever you want on it. But I just don't know when... When, there's a deep dappers when we would able, be able to get it done. How old are they? There's an FAQ down in the uh, video description that answers all of the basic questions. If you want to go down there and check that out. Well, now they're like, we don't want to play anymore. Now we only want to see the squirrel friend. Because he's amazing. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked about skiing with the dogs, I think I saw it said. Jamie has skied with the dogs. He skied with Shelby and Shiloh and Oakley, I believe. But that was it. We have three dogs. I don't know where you got six from. We've had six dogs, but we only have three dogs now. Yes, the link to the Kira plushie is pinned at the top comment. Like I said, there's only five days left. Five days left. When are you going on your next RV trip? I love it when people ask about us RVing. Can you see outside? I don't know, I don't know if you know this, but it's winter. Still winter. Still snow. Just saying. <laughs> I know a lot of people forget that we live in northern Michigan where we get snow and we get winter. And uh, you don't, we don't go out in the winter because, no, that roads are treacherous. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Hi. Hi, Memphis. How are you? How are you? She's like, I am amazing right now. Nick! It's hard to believe that the New Jersey Expo is only two weeks away. Is Kira now full grown? Eleanor looks taller than Kira. So, yes, my friend. Uh, Kira, Eleanor is just a little bit taller than Kira. Kira's full grown. Uh, last time we weighed Kira, she was 41 pounds. So Kira was 41 pounds the last time we laid her. Look at all the nose prints, all the nose art on the window. Um, last time we weighed Kira, she was 41 pounds. Eleanor just went to the vet the other day to get her Bordetella and some of her stuff updated, and she's 42.5. So it is official. Uh, Eleanor is bigger than Kira. No, we're not taking the RV to New Jersey. It's March. We're not taking the RV to New Jersey. Um, yeah, Eleanor, she's a little bit taller than her at the shoulder. I should actually, like, measure her and get her height and see what her actual height is. But... Yeah. Somebody said something about coming to pet expos in the UK. I will never fly my dogs in cargo. Ever. So unfortunately, it's a lot easier for you guys to fly over here to the United States than it is for us to fly over there. I'm just saying. Yes, snoot art. Gotta love that. Nose art. Are you ever gonna get a cat? That's a funny joke. I always, that always also always cracks me up when people ask me that. No. 
We're not going to the cats. You want to watch cats? Go over to RFS Cats or RFS Dan. They got all the cats to your heart's desire. <laughs> uh. Lynn said, what's a good solid weight for Huskies? So if you have a Husky that was bred to breed standard, and that is a big, big part of this, okay? Let me clarify that again. If you have a Siberian Husky that was bred to proper breed standards, females should be between 35 and 50 pounds, and males should usually be, what is it, between 45 to 60, I believe it is. Yeah, it's 35 to 50 and 45 to 60. So females are always going to be smaller, of course. Now, does that mean if you have a female husky that is 60 pounds that they're fat? Eh, not necessarily, because there's a lot of huskies out there that were not bred to breed standard, or they may have been bred more for racing, so they may have taller legs and a bigger body build. But that's usually about, are you seeing, are you seeing yourself on the TV? <laughs> um, that's about the weight you're looking for for standard uh, Eleanor could stand to put on a little more weight, but because she's only two years old, she's still filling out. She eats quite a bit more than the other dogs because she's younger and she exerts more energy. Um, Kira actually could stand to lose maybe a pound or two, uh, her bot for her body structure. She's doing really well. The vet says she's fine, but she could lose to stand possibly a pound or two. Memphis is about perfect and believe it or not, Memphis is 52 pounds. So she's just a little bit over breed standard. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. Oh, what's going on over here? Hold on a second. I've got too many things going on at once. Okay, there we go. Got it. Got it. I got it. Oh, we got a super chat that just popped up from Nikki. Oh, it's a membership chat. Hi, Jess, Jamie, Memphis, Kira, and Eleanor. We got a few inches of snow yesterday. Yay! Good, I'm glad. I do love snow. So we do. We do love snow, don't we? <laughs> uh. What Do you see yourself on the TV? Is that what it is? I mean, I guess I could turn that off. I'm kind of not looking at that. Is Kira's, is Kira tinier than Shiloh's heaviest weight? Nope. Um, so for those of you that may be new or may not know, these are all the dogs that we owned. I used this yesterday and it worked really good. Of course, there's Eleanor. She's got some. That's Shiloh. So Shiloh was our smallest husky. At her biggest weight, she was 38 pounds, but she normally av averaged about 36. Um, oops, hold on a second here. I'm like, I hear myself talking, but it's because um, it's over on the other, it's in my computer, I forgot to shut off. Anyway, so Shiloh was 38 pounds at her biggest, and she was 36 pounds average. Oakley was, I think she was like 64 pounds when we got her, and then she averaged right around 58 pounds for most of her life. Um, Shelby was 54 pounds pretty much her entire life. Memphis sits right around 52. The biggest she ever got was 58, and that was during COVID because Memphis was like everybody else and ate away her sorrows. <laughs> and then I told you guys the weights of the other ones. So so that is uh, pretty much pretty much what uh, the chat is reacting so slow to click on anything. Yeah, mine is two. I was noticing that too. That's okay. We got this. Greg's also a moderator now. I don't know if he's in the... If you want to send Greg a message and let him know we're live, Dan, um, he said he was going to jump in and help too if you needed help. If not, that's fine. Um, but yeah, yeah. At least six of the views are coming from within your own house. I mean, this one, I don't actually have the stream running. That's the live stream studio. But yes, two of the other ones are. <laughs> Okay, all right, Greg's there. All right, cool. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I was going to make them sing. Has it been 20 minutes? Do you think we can make them sing? Let's find out. Okay, so here's your warning before I get them started. It's probably going to get loud. Never thought Oakley was that heavy. Yes, Green Frogger, Oakley was heavy. Like, she, she was chonky when we got her. And we had to get her down quite a bit in weight because she was a lot heavier than she should have been when we got her. She wasn't solely fluff. I mean, the first bath she had, we really did figure out, you know, that she was a lot bigger than she should have been. Uh, what food? What food? Whoa. Who made the pictures you just showed us? Shalman portrait, Portraits. Shalman Portraits. You can find them on Instagram or um, uh, Facebook. Somebody asked about something about food, but I wasn't exactly sure what it was. If it was the food we feed them or how we get them to gain weight. 
Yes, we're go are you planning on having a Novi pet? No, we're not planning on having it. I just talked about how we can't put the dogs in cargo on an airplane. Um, for gaining weight, I just feed Eleanor extra food, pretty much. We feed him Munster. I think there's links for that down below as well. We have a coupon code for 55% off if, that, if that's something you ever want to try with your dogs. Uh, but that's what we feed them. All right, Memphis, are you done drinking? All right, let's see. Oh, there's a neighbor dog out there. He's out there. I saw him walking. Are you, oh, now you're gonna be, okay, well, I'll give you a minute. See what my TV's doing? It's all weird colored. That's neighbor dog. That's not Chloe, I can never remember. I used to be so good at remembering all the neighbor dog's names. <laughs> but, uh, oh, is Scorfriend back? Oh no, you're just excited about neighbor dog, huh? That, that's the little pibble. That's the little pibble that lives, she's not little anymore, she's big now. You big now, I know. How long are you streaming for? I don't know, till I get bored. Till I don't want to do it anymore. Till I get hungry, or the dogs get hungry. The dogs are supposed to eat at 4 o'clock, which is in like a half an hour. But I might make their food while we're on the stream. I don't know. We'll see. That could be fun, right? We'll close this down. There you go. <laughs> How do you get their coats to look so nice? We brush them a lot and use um, conditioning spray when we brush them. A lot because <laughs> if we don't brush them a lot you can see I don't know if you can see all the hair that's on that beanbag chair but uh the hair is everywhere okay let's see hi baby do you want to sing all right fair warning the dogs might get loud oh wrong side here we go Eleanor you want to sing Eleanor sing Oh, it's a truck. You want to see? <laughs> yeah, good girl. Sing. Sing. Yeah. Good, good, good girl. Good girl. Sing. Sing. That's a thing. Cindy with the super chat. Ow woo! <laughs> They're out wooing it up. They're definitely out wooing it up. That was a good one. Did you notice though? I don't know if you guys caught it. I only had to do the harmonica a little bit, and then Eleanor Eleanor's learning to sing on command. She's catching on to it better. No offense, Kira, but she's catching on to it better than Kira did, which is kind of nice. Um in trick class, we're supposed to pick one trick that we have to train the dogs that we didn't learn in class, and mine is sing. So I've been working really hard with her this week to sing on command. Normally I have my clicker and some treats and I can get her to do the woos, so we're really working on it so that eventually I should just be able to go, Eleanor, Eleanor, you want to sing? Sing? She's like, I'm think thinking about it. Oh, I know, you're distracted by everything outside. Are they purebred? Yes, they are. Um... So anyway, that is kind of the trick that I'm working to train Eleanor for trick dog training class is sing on command, which uh, those of you that have been around a while, you know that Shelby could pretty much sing on command. It took me until she was about five years old to actually train her to do it, but Shelby could sing on command. I could tell Shelby to sing and she would sing on command. So I'm hoping to teach it to Eleanor because I just think that's really cool. <laughs> Oh, and I did find out about Sarah Carson's class when we go to Canada, and it's at 7 in the morning. So I don't know if we're taking it or not. We'll see. We will see. Maybe, maybe Sarah and I will do something outside of class time to show you guys some trick stuff with Eleanor. Maybe. We'll see. 
Yeah, 7 a.m. Did you know there's a 7 a.m.? Like in the morning. I don't do 7 a.m.s. That's, that's, that's early. <laughs> that's very early. What do you think, Miss Elnor, huh? What do you think? Yeah, um, I don't know how many people have signed up for the class already, but they said it was going to fill up pretty quick. So I might reach out to, to Sarah, like I said, and do, and talk to her about it and kind of see what we can figure out. Dun, 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 dun. Rosa says, do you think you can show us some of the tricks that Eleanor has learned when you get them ready for their dinner? Uh, yeah, I could probably try to do, whoops, I could probably try to do that. Um, dun, 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 dun. Wait, I missed it. I missed it. Do the class just make Dan get up at 7 a.m. to film? Yeah, it's not getting Dan up at 7 a.m. Dan and Jamie can get up at 7 a.m., no issue. Same with the dogs. It's me. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> so, like, not only is it 7 a.m., you have to be there at 7 a.m., and where we're staying is 20 minutes away from the event center, which means I would have to get up at, like, some insane early time, get the dog ready, and go. And then be back for 10 for when the show starts. So, we'll see. We will see if it works out or not. I think Ella's smart enough for a private lesson with Sarah. Oh, 100%. And I'm certain Sarah and I could figure something out. But we're, you know, we both go to these shows and we just have so much stuff to do. And it gets so crazy and busy. And then, of course, we want downtime as well where we get to just hang out with our friends and hang out and do fun stuff. So it just depends. We'll figure it out. Eleanor has never done uh, skajoring yet. I don't even know if Kira's done skajoring. Memphis did, but I don't think the other two have. Um, also, those of you that are wondering about the trick dog training and stuff like that, uh, Sarah has an app called Pupper, P-U-P-P-E-R. I don't have a code for it or anything, but she does have an app called Pupper, and the first few tricks are free. So if you're looking to work on some trick stuff with your dog, that is a wonderful place to start. And, uh, like I said, the first few are free and then you can pay for the more advanced tricks, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, that's something that you could, you could try. Oh, look at you in that beautiful sunset glow, even though it's not sunset yet. <laughs> uh, unless, unless I have coffee, I'll get up early. I, I, even with coffee, I don't like to get up early. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've been watching you guys since the watermelon treat video. Yeah, that's an old video. Been around a long time. Huskies are the best dogs in the world. Mm, I agree. <laughs> Hope you get a day set aside for sightseeing in Victoria. I'm hoping so too. I'm working on that trip along with 7,000 million other things this week to try to figure out like where we're going to be and where we're staying. We are taking the RV over there. I have to figure out the route. There's a lot going on with that trip. So we'll see what happens and how that works out. We will see. Eleanor, you look so beautiful. She's like, wait, what was that? And these two are just chilling over here on the beanbag chair. Are you chilling, Kira? She's like, did you see the other neighbor dog went by? I saw the other neighbor dog that went by. Uh, yeah, we're leaving in a week to go to New Jersey. We're taking them to New Jersey for the Super Pet Expo. And then we're going to Virginia for the Super Pet Expo. And then we're going to Toronto for the, what is it, the Toronto Pet Expo, the Easter Toronto Pet Expo. Spring? I don't know what they're calling that. How do you keep them that calm? Um, they get a lot of exercise. Like, a lot of exercise. So... You know, they play with each other, they play with us, so they're usually, they're usually pretty calm. They're usually pretty good. Last I checked the watermelon video, it passed 54 million views. Yep, it's the only video on our entire channel that YouTube still likes to promote, which is weird. But we'll take it, because it's the only thing that YouTube likes. <laughs> uh, uh, look at that yawn. I see that. I see. Look at that happy smile. Yeah, look at you. Memphis, you have the best smile. Like, that face right there is my favoriteest face on the whole planet. Yeah? Yeah, you know I'm talking to you, don't you? You probably can't hear me at all. So, really funny story. My brother came over last night. We had game night last night, and all of our friends were here. And my brother got home from uh, the hospital with his wife. And he wanted to swing by and say hi to us. So he came down. 
And Memphis was sound asleep. And my brother came all the way downstairs, was talking, said hi to everybody. Memphis did not wake up. And he kept going, where's the other dog? I'm like, she's over here. She's asleep. She doesn't even know you're here. So my brother came up to her and she was dreaming. My brother came up to her and started petting her and she didn't wake up. And he called her name and she didn't wake up. And then all of a sudden she moved and she woke up and she looked at him and it was the cutest darn thing. She had the flattest ears. Her tail was going a million miles an hour because she absolutely loves my brother. She was so excited to see him. It was just funny that she uh, had no idea that he was here. I kept saying, I'm like, oh, I wish I would have got that on camera because that was super cute. Super, super, super cute. The dogs. Yeah, we still go sledding with them. There was actually a members only video of the dog sledding that went up on this channel that we filmed in December, I think it was. So if you're a member and you haven't seen that yet, there is a video of that up here. There sure is. Sure is. Hi, how are you? She's like, mm, I'm pretty good, mom. I'm looking out the window. I'm watching for my squirrel friend. He came and visited me a few minutes ago. I know. I wish I would have recorded it as well. Like, I didn't expect her to react that way, but it was the cutest darn thing. Literally the cutest darn thing. We got a super chat from Rosa. Are you planning to stay on the East Coast between the two expos, are you or are you returning back to Michigan in between? And if you plan to stay on the East Coast, there's a lot to see between. So the original plan was to stay. We were going to go from New Jersey and we were going to go get a house out on the shore and stay out on the ocean. We had a lot of plans to do a lot of different stuff, but um, we also were hoping that my sister-in-law was going to be done with chemo and cancer treatments and stuff by now, and she's not. So because of that, because they're still going to be going back and forth, we are coming home in between the expos so that we can be here and uh, help out with those things. What's Jamie doing in the basement? Uh, he's working on 3D printing some stuff for his dad's house. And he was working on... He was designing something. I don't know what it was. A, a, like a vent that goes over a heater thing. He was designing one of those and printing out a couple of things that they needed out there. And he was working on the layout of the tile for how they're going to tile the bathroom out there. So he was supposed to be out there. I thought I thought he was leaving to go out there, but maybe not. Maybe he's going tomorrow. Hi, Eleanor. How are you? What time is it? Is it almost time to make the... To make... The, uh oh what did I do here? Yep, okay. It is almost time to make the things. I gave my dog a bully stick, and we don't have a holder, and we were nervous that she was going to choke, but thankfully she didn't. You got lucky. Uh, you really... You got lucky. I love my bully stick holders. Like... The ones we get from Safety Chew are literally my favorite thing on the planet because phew, not only can they choke on that little piece, but if they eat that little piece at the end and swallow it whole, it can cause obstructions in their bowels because it doesn't break down as fast because they didn't chew it. Becomes a whole nother range of issues. I love giving my dogs bully sticks, but I will never do it without the holders. I absolutely love my Safety Chew holders. They're my favorite thing. Um... I don't know if Dan can drop that down there, but it's, I believe it's Safety Choose. Check the website, safetychoose.com, and our code, I believe, is Snowdogs, and it's for 10% off. But those are amazing, amazing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me go grab one. They're all going to think they're getting one, but we're going to go, we're going to go grab them. Hi, Memphis. I see you. Let's see. I'm not making your food yet. In a minute. So this is the bully stick holder that I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I know. You're like, whoa, wait, are we getting bully sticks? Is that what's happening? Mom's giving, I'm not giving you bully sticks. So there's that one. There's this one, which this one is a pretty durable one, but this one is their newest version. I don't even know if these are available yet. Sorry, it won't focus on it. But see how it's got the pin in it? So the bully sticks, hold on here. I could show you that too. The bully sticks have a little hole in it. So it's called Everchew now, but Safety Chews is the website. They have a hole in it. And then you put the bully stick into the holder and you put this little pin through the hole and then they can't choke on the ends, which is amazing. I don't I don't have any I don't have any ready for you girls, so you gotta eat lunch anyway. 
And the safety two people are super cool. Yes, they also run the social media for Maya the Mini Husky. I don't know if they still post on there or not. But yes, Anthony's amazing. They're super nice people. I've known them a really long time. Met them many, many years ago when we went to PetCon in New York and then PetCon in LA. So I've known them for a very long time. They actually uh, just started doing the safety chew stuff full time, which is nice. What do you think? What do you think? Can you all make a video of what you do in New Jersey? We can. There will be video, a video here, but there will also be a video that you'll probably get to see sooner that will go up over at youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs because the vlogs usually come out before these. But I do have a plan to make a really fun like travel video for each of the expos. Instead of the old school expo videos, which it seems like only a handful of you actually enjoy and YouTube doesn't like pushing out to the rest of you, I, I think I'm going to switch up the way we do the expo videos and make them be more of like a voiceover travel vlog type video, which I think would be super fun. So we'll see. Um, oh, dog food. I'm like, what was I doing? What was I doing? <laughs> I think I think I do you think I can do this and carry this with me or should I set this in here hi so look I have Christmas socks on they have huskies on them too somewhere let's go in here and see what we can do okay so if you guys don't know how I make the dog's food first thing we got to do is put some water in here do you want to help me make food hmm do you want here what if I set what if I set you right here that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this, huh? All right, I'm gonna set you guys back down in here. I don't need to carry that with me. And then we'll get your foods. So you guys might be by yourself for a minute. They're all gonna go to that gate over there anyway. So we'll set you right here. And I will be right back. I'm gonna go make the... I'll bring you back in here in just a second. I know, I know. I bumped you. You wait there, I'll be right back. Placemats that I put down for their food so that whoops I did it wrong that's not your spot that's your spot that's your spot that's your spot that's your spot okay all right come with me come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination okay let's get the food ready to get the food I'm sorry if the camera is a little bit shaky but let's see if we can do this so we got Three bowls and a screwdriver, apparently. I don't know why there's a screwdriver up here, but there is. Should have cleaned this up before feeding the dogs. And then their food is in here. And this is, like I said, the Munster dog food. And if you guys are interested in getting for your dogs, this is my half cup measure. So they already had breakfast. So at lunch, they each get... This is like a routine video, huh? Notice Eleanor gets a little bit more than a half cup. And then Kira, who, like I said, could stand to lose a little bit, gets just a little bit less than a half cup. And again, that's for lunchtime. Now, I'm going to go through all the things I put on the dog's food for lunch. This is the Ultra Oil. This goes on their food every lunch, and they each get, can I do this one-handed? Three pumps. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three, woo, we did it! One-handed. And then comes the fun stuff. This is the Adored Beast Liver Tonic. This is for Memphis only, and she gets 24 drops of that on her food. Hi, Memphis, stay right there. And I said stay right there. That wasn't staying right there. I had to set this down while I opened this. So she gets... 24 drops. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. About 24 drops. A couple more. 1, 2, 3, 4. So she gets that. And that is the liver tonic that she's on. 
to help with her liver. She's on this for two months and then she's off of it for a month. The other thing that she is on is this turkey tail mushroom. If you guys are interested in getting this, um, Dan, I know I'm kind of making this a pain in the butt, but in the Discord, there's a link for the friend's referral for Adored Beast. If you want to drop that in the chat, you can do that. If not, um, it's in the Discord or it's in the Facebook group. Hold on. Can't do two things at once. Do, 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 do. Rip. All right. So the turkey tail mushroom, we do 12 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And she gets 12 drops of that on breakfast and dinner. Memphis is so beautiful. Oh, thanks. And then the last thing that they get. Oh, I got to how do we do this? One-handed. The last thing that they get is plaque off powder. I love this stuff. I've been using this stuff forever. They should sponsor us because it's not cheap. This is what I use. I put it on their lunch every single day and it's supposed to help with the plaque and stuff on their teeth with like softening it and making it so it's not so hard. And honestly, I think it works. Kira had her first dental at what? four and a half years old it was the first time she ever had to have her teeth cleaned and I've used this with her ever since she was a puppy and how much take a spoonful sprinkle it over their food doesn't really matter because we got other things that are going to go in here too oh my microwave's going off so hold on we got this maybe maybe we got this I don't know we're feeding dogs guys and then we they still gotta wait 15 minutes before they can have any of this because we gotta put the water on it can I carry three dog bowls and the camera? Maybe. Let's find out. So, let's see if we can do this. Hold on a second, friends. Let's see here. Let's try to... Can I tip this down some? Maybe? How do I do that? Oh, I got it. It's this way. Okay, ready? There we go. Okay, we got the angle that I need. Sorry, it's a little bit shaky. Um, okay, so these are all three of the dog's bowls, and now we're gonna show you the next part of what we're doing for feeding them. And they're in here, trust me. Oh. Everybody, for some reason, always wants to, wants to see what we give the dogs. So, let's do that. The next thing that goes on their food is the homemade bone broth. This is the homemade bone broth, and sorry, I'm not reading comments right now. I swear I'll come back to it. This is the bone broth that I make. There's a video for it on this channel for how to make it. You can see this round turned out really, really good. It's nice and congealed. And they get um, an eighth of a cup, which is equivalent to two tablespoons. They get that every day on their breakfast and their uh, lunch. I only feed them twice a day now because it's easier on Memphis's stomach. So they get that twice a day. Oh, but we're not done yet. Making the dog's food takes a while, trust me. And then, what do you get today, girls? You're getting this kind of the wet food today. So we do give the dogs a little bit of wet food. And basically, this is how Eleanor gets extra calories. So like, Eleanor gets that much. Can you see how much I put in there? And then the other dogs will get a small scoop. I like to give them a little bit of wet food on their lunch. Um, sorry, this is gonna be loud because it's an easy way for me to switch proteins for them and make sure that they're getting a variety of proteins because with the the um monster dog food that i'm feeding them i don't switch out the dry food anymore and then this is the next part so this is the water that i put in the microwave for four minutes now what we're going to do is we're just barely gonna cover this kibble this is hot water I'm sorry I'm gonna set off all of your Alexa's Alexa set a timer for 15 minutes sorry everybody 15 minutes. so we're gonna just cover this and then I kind of take this wet food a little bit oops and like smoosh it because if if I leave it in that big chunk right there they'll just eat that whole big chunk of wet food <laughs> and that's not what we want but I'll kind of show you and this has all the stuff I already added. You guys saw everything I added. It's all in here. So now we like stir this up. And then we do this one. And yes, we do this every day. 
twice a day. It's a little bit different in the morning. They get different supplements in the morning than they do at night. And one of these days I will do another routine video for you guys because I know you guys really enjoy them. I guess Nash Memphis is down. I always do Memphis's last because Memphis has all the adored beast stuff added to hers. So I always do Memphis's last. Just because I figure that way all of her oils that are in here 100 percent stay in here. And then tap off the spoon. And then to help soften the food, I have these lids. I was putting them in the oven, I can also do that, but I also have the lids that I use from time to time, so the lids go on, and then the food sits for 15 minutes, and if we're lucky, Memphis will get really, really mad because she wants her food. That's a thing. So, now we kick all the dogs out of the kitchen. Come on, out of the kitchen. Out of the kitchen. Come on, you gotta wait. You got 15 minutes. Think you can handle that? Sure don't. That's my new pop-up banner for expos. All right, 15 minutes, sweetheart. I oh, know. This is the hardest part of the day is waiting the 15 minutes. I know. So we might get angry Memphis because Memphis, uh, Memphis will know when the 15 minutes is up before Alexa tells us that the 15 minutes is up, I swear. So sorry I missed a bunch of chats. Uh-oh. My computer battery is low. Hold on, I plugged it into the wrong thing. We got this. It goes in that one. Let's try again. <laughs> uh, whoops. So, whew. We have a lot of new people. Hi, all the new people. I'm sorry, I was making dog food so I wasn't seeing the, the, the chats. To all the new people that are here, hello, welcome. Real quick, let me go through and introduce the dogs to you guys. To everybody else who knows who the dog is, who the dogs are, just enjoy this reintroduction of the dogs. So we currently have three dogs, as you can see. They're all kind of wandering around. That one there, that is uh, pawing at her face. That is Miss Eleanor. She is two years old. They're all female. She is a agouti coat Siberian. That black and white one there that's walking away, that is Miss Ice Princess Kira. She is the Ice Princess. We probably should have named her Elsa. She is turning five years old on March 13th. Again, also female. She is a black and white husky. As if you can't tell, she's a black and white husky. And then this pretty girl here, this is Miss Memphis Belle. And again, another female. She is a gray and white Siberian husky. And she will be turning 11 years old on April the 4th. So welcome to our channel. If you've never seen us before and you're new here, we're gone to the Snow Dogs. We also have another channel you can watch called Snow Dogs Vlogs. We make videos of our dogs about travel, treats, educational, informational, we like to film when we do things like go to the vet with the dogs and stuff like that. There, just yell hi. Hi. Okay. I don't Everybody kept asking where you were, and I'm like, he's downstairs. He is paying attention. Um, so, yeah, so anybody, that's my husband, for anybody that's new here and doesn't know. He's the other half of Gone to the Snow Dogs. Wait, would it be a half? How many of us is there? Yeah. He's the other fifth of Gone to the Snow Dogs. <laughs> uh, so, he's my other half. But yeah, so any of you that are new here, thanks for joining us. And uh, just for fun, I did this yesterday or the other day on my Snow Dogs Vlogs live stream and it was really fun. So just for fun, whether you're new here or you're not new here, sound off in the chat on where you're from. We live in northern Michigan. We are in uh, the, the, not the UP, we're in the lower peninsula, but we live in northern Michigan, as you can see by the beautiful snow outside. So where are you guys from? It's always fun to see where some of you guys are from. Virginia will be coming there soon. Also, for those of you that are new, we are doing a little mini tour of meet and greets with the dogs, which is on our Facebook page. So there's there's some fun stuff there. Fun stuff there. Canada, Montana, Texas. Yes, we can have the dogs sing in just a second. I don't know if they will because they're pretty much getting ready for their food. Ooh, New Zealand, Florida, Tennessee, Indiana, Canada. British Columbia! We're coming to British Columbia in May. In May! Memphis is like, I'm not looking at the camera. I am going to sit here and face this way because my food is this way and I know it's coming. I'm counting down the minutes in my own brain. That's what I'm doing. She actually is counting down the minutes in her own brain. If you don't know, Memphis totally knows how long 15 minutes is. She can tell. <laughs> uh. Wow, you guys are from all over the place. Denmark, northern Minnesota, the Netherlands. So many places. This is so cool. So, 
Um, if you've been around for a while, you know, or, you know, if you know who we are, you don't have to answer this. But for those of you that are new here, did you find? How did you find us? And I guess for anybody, really, how did you find us? I know a lot of you guys found us through the watermelon treat video and our treat videos. But I think that uh, when we do vertical lives like this, a lot of you guys find us through the shorts, the shorts shelf. Is that still what they're calling it? YouTube is so weird. They change so many things, and then I get so confused about so many things and what's going on. I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> I don't know if I can get them to sing, but I can try. Oh, there goes Memphis. She's like, I'm done. I'm out. I want my food. Has it been 15 minutes yet? It has not been 15 minutes yet, ma'am. It has not. She's like, maybe dad? Maybe dad. Dad, dad, are you in there? Dad, maybe you could bring me a, a, some food. Maybe you could bring mama soda. But maybe you could bring me some food. Because cause my food is in there. Dad, did you know? What if, I, if I go this way, this is no, Dad, that's the wrong way, Dad. Dad, 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 Dad. Mom, Dad's going the wrong way. Let me show you where the food is. You should totally follow me. Is that what you want? You want me to follow you? <laughs> They're adorable. Well, thank you. Uh, oh, my goodness. Dallas, I'm from Dallas. Quite a few of you said you were from the Netherlands. I thought that was cool. Oh, that, that the sun came out from behind the clouds and is doing that thing again. Doing the thing again. Oh, the Easter egg hunt video. We're getting ready to do another one of those for this year. I was just thinking, is that the, that's the next holiday, right? It's Easter is, no, well, St. Patrick's. Patrick, well, Kira's birthday is a holiday in its own. <laughs> but yes, St. Patrick's Day is technically the next holiday. And so then, I could St. Patrick's Day up the, and then, and then Easter, yes. So pretty much I can leave my Valentine's Day colors, just add a little green. Yeah. And print, print stuff on the printer. Yes, yeah. Easter, anything you would love to print me. I, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to redo the the thing for St. Patrick's Day because Easter's at the end of March this year. It's really early this year. So I'm going to go straight to Easter. And that's funny because I was actually thinking about doing that today. So it's like, oh, hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. I love you. Oh, hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. I love you. Oh, we got a super chat. Alec! Hello, Alec! Are you making any... Making you a snack bag to take to New Jersey. Any foods you dislike. Alec, you bring us whatever you want. Seriously, anything you want. Dan loves pickled beets. I'm just kidding. Dan doesn't love pickled beets. I do, though. Um, bring us whatever you want. We are always down to try just about anything. So anything like New Jersey related. The dogs don't have any allergies. They all do pretty much good on everything. Um... Memphis is too. Oh, there's a belly's up. You're getting them belly scritches. It's like, oh, this is heaven. This is heaven. And then I should totally. Oh, Eleanor. Wait for my dinner. <laughs> Kira's like, oh, they're never going to feed me. It's I'm never going to happen. Squirrel friend came to visit. I don't know if you were watching and saw, but he came to visit. He looked for peanuts and he left. Uh, he might have gotten this morning. There, yeah, he, he, uh, yes, he's been here a couple times already today. Um, he did get some corn. Okay. But there's no peanuts out there, so. Yeah, he's like, he well, went. they might be, there. I put a couple out there before it snowed, too. <laughs> yeah, he, he found, oh, he yeah, he dug and found, he was eating a piece of ice. I filmed him earlier, <laughs> chewing on ice. It was cute. Uh, yes, I'll give him more peanuts. Gotta give him some more peanuts. Where are the meet and greets gonna be? So if you go to gonetothesnowdogs.com, or uh, RFS Dan will drop it in the chat if he's still around. Mm. There's a link that says meet and greets up in the right-hand corner on our website at gonetothesnowdogs.com. That will take you to our Facebook page that has all of the events listed that we're currently... Anything that's confirmed is listed up there. There's a few more that I'm kind of working on. I don't want to... I don't want to say... I don't want to say... I don't want to say... Look what I can do. <laughs> Nikki says St. Patrick's Day is next and Easter. Yes. But because St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th and Easter's on, like, what, the 31st, I'm, I'm going to take that down and go straight to Easter. I don't even think we're doing St. Patrick's Day treats this year. I haven't done St. Patrick's Day treats in a while because Kira's birthday falls in March. So I always end up doing Kira treats. It's 9 p.m. in the U.K. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Are you just waiting for your dinner? Are your trips going to interfere with making maple syrup? Um, yes. Yes and no, because Jamie's dad knows how to do it as well. Your dad as well. And my dad knows how to do it as well. So yes and no. It may slow down us filming doing it, because we won't be here. But 
we hopefully we'll still be able to get some. I think if anything's going to slow down the maple syrup production, it's the weird weather we've been having. I think that'll slow it down more than anything else. Yeah. Because we've just been having some really weird weather. Any plans on bringing back Fan Friday? Yeah, at the beginning of the year, I had this great plan to start bringing it back as a vertical thing, but I haven't got to it yet. But it's still on my list. Not that that matters. We're in northern Michigan. No, uh, my brother's wife is doing pretty good. They're home, so. Oh, you wanted to see, we wanted to see if we could get you guys to sing. Can you sing? Wait. Alec! Treats from my state of Rhode Island. Oh, I eat I, pickles. I see pickles. We love pickles. We love pickled everything. All right, let's see if we can get her to sing. You want to try it or you want me to do it? I'll do it. Ready? Okay. You want to sing? Look at her look at me. She's like, wait, what? Oh, fair warning. It's going to get loud. It might get loud. <laughs> sing. Sing, Eleanor. Sing. 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 Sing, Eleanor. Sing. Ooh, that was the quietest thing ever. Sing, Eleanor, sing! <laughs> They're all waiting for food. Yeah. That's all they want. They're like, but you gotta sing for your supper. That's what you get. You gotta sing for my computer in the office. Mm -hmm. I accidentally left it on with the, with, she did this earlier when they howled. She's looking down the hallway like, mm -hmm. Wow, that dog sounds beautiful. That's you, honey. That's you. It really is. It really, really, really is. Why did you guys stop filming Fan Friday? Um, so I made the mistake a long time ago of listening to all these people that were telling me what the YouTube algorithm wanted and what it didn't want. And Fan Friday, we did just over 300 episodes and it got to the point where everybody was asking the same questions. So for me, it just wasn't as fun anymore. Even though there was always new people coming, it was like the same questions got asked over and over and over. So it was hard to make the videos engaging and fun with the same questions. So we stopped making it. And then now I have the plan to bring it back as more of a short form series where like on Friday, we'll put up a video where we have you guys ask us questions. And then throughout the week, we'll answer those questions in short form videos. And then, excuse me, the plan was to then take all the questions, put them together in a long form video, like once a month or something, so that there it goes up in a different way. It's on my list of things to do, like all the other things. Oh, here she goes. Assume a position. Hi. Okay, so you guys see what Eleanor's doing over there? Usually when I want to watch TV. Yes. Like... Eleanor knows how to get belly scratches from her dad. <laughs> And she, so she'll position herself on the couch just like that, just for belly scratches. Yeah, you said give him belly scratches? She's like, Dad gives the best belly scratches on the planet. Weirdo. She's like, I'm a weirdo, look at me. I'm the cutest weirdo ever. Are you a hungry weirdo? Whoa. <laughs> the other thing I notice is when the, when the TV's not, like, blurry, because I have that on so I can read more of the chat. Yeah. Um, when she sees herself on the TV, she's like, whoa, who's that dog? Who's that dog on the TV? Who's that dog? <laughs> uh, how about a 2024 World Tour concert t-shirt like merch? That's a cute idea. That is a cute idea. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hello. Boop. How, hey, Memphis, how long is left on the timer? She gave up. She's not mad. She's not yelling. She's like, all right, we're all gonna sit here and wait, but as soon as mom gets up, I am running to that gate. She's like, I know that there's food, <laughs> and it's being made in there, and I know it is, and I would like it, please. Let me ask her, Alexa, how long is left on the timer? You have two timers. Two? On a 50 minute timer with less than 10 seconds left in an office. Oh. A 50 minute timer with about 10 seconds left. She heard me in two different rooms. And normally they ask, and normally they don't set. Uh-uh. Alexa, stop. That's funny. Alexa, stop the timer. That is funny. Minute timer stopped on office. 
Are the pins limited supply? Um, the pins are limited supply. There's still quite a few of them left. We do have some that we'll be bringing to the events. Uh, I may print more of them when they're gone. <clears throat> they're not selling super fast, so you'll have a chance to get them. Do you, before you take off, do you want to hold this while I feed them and show, uh, so I can show them some tricks? Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, Did you show your pens? Uh, not yet. Are you supposed to or now? I can, yeah. If you guys don't know, we do have pins available. They're on our Etsy shop. There's a link up in the... Is that the... too bright? Nope. No, that's actually pretty good. They actually look really nice right here. So there's the... They come in a set of all three. So there's Kira. And there is Memphis. And then here is oh Eleanor. Eleanor. Focus on that. There it is. And it comes in the set of all three. And they're $20. And then, of course, plus shipping. Um, the pins are really cute. All the backs of the pins match the dog's colors. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking if we're going to do the other three dogs so you can complete your set. And we are, but it's Chinese New Year, so they're not back in the office till the 21st. So I can't really do anything until they're back in the office. <laughs> but yes, those are the pins. We have other new stuff coming that's going to get launched at the expos as well. Okay. So. Okay. She's watching me. So. I try to like balance this so it doesn't shake too much. But you probably have a better grip than I do anyway. No, I'm pretty bouncy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's why I like set that thing right on my legs. I'm right. like, oh, that works pretty oh, good. Memphis is okay, like. We will be back. I'll bring okay. them back in here, I swear. <laughs> okay, we're going to watch you disappear into the great <laughs> unknown. I'm not letting them in here, though. She's going to freak out. Oh, okay. If you don't let. Okay. So they'll go. Back and forth. Oh. Memphis is content. She's she can see. She's like, mom's right there. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's fast. Okay. Okay, we'll get Memphis to do her a couple of tricks first. Sit. Paw. She's she has so much force. Mm -hmm. when she paw. Paw. Yeah. Paw. Yeah, speak. Speak. <laughs> oh, wow, good job. Kira. I didn't ask you. Memphis, turn around. Turn around. Yeah. Turn around. Wiggle your bowl. Turn around. She's like, no way, Mom. I'm too excited. She can't hear me like she used to. Turn around. <laughs> okay. All right, here. Okay, now I'm going to do Kira. I'll try to be faster. Kira, sit. Pop. Kira, jump. <laughs> Eleanor's doing tricks. Kira, turn around. Turn She's around. like, I, I did a half turn around jump. Okay, now we'll do Eleanor. Ready? I didn't ask. <laughs> She's I didn't like, I do that. everything. I didn't you ask will. For that. You will. Okay, ready? Get your tail. Here's <laughs> food. Wave. Yeah, that was really good. Okay, ready? Sit. Pop. Sit. <laughs> High five. Oh my gosh, she's so excited. Sit. Yeah, High it's hot. It's hard to get her to do that on when she's food driven. Lay down. Ready? Sit. I know, they're almost done. You just put your tail. I'm just doing it to her. She keeps putting her tail right. in Kira's food. <laughs> 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 she does pretty, she does do better tricks, but she has a hard time when you get it all. When the other dogs are here, because she thinks they're gonna take her food. So she's like, well, I gotta make sure that they don't get my food. <laughs> Kira's just about done. Eleanor's almost done. I showed making their food so everybody could see that too. And I know a lot of people are gonna wanna know if the dogs fight. They don't really fight. But, you know, food is a whole other dynamic. So we keep them separated, but we feed them in the same room because they all have to learn respect for each other. And thankfully, they don't really go at each other's bowls until mm. they're all pretty much done. And as you notice, Eleanor did the, the we feed them in a specific order because that's the, the speed in which they eat. Yes. Eleanor eats fastest, Kira eats second fastest, and Memphis eats the slowest. Mem so Memphis. they all notice Kira just finished hers. Oh, look, Eleanor just finished hers. And Memphis just finished hers. Yeah, they pretty much finish all at the same time. And then they all lick the bowls, and then look, Kira's now looking. She's like, yeah, you ate too fast. Now, now Memphis, Memphis is, looking, is looking. So they might switch. 
They're like, hey, let me check out your bowl. Yep. And that, as soon as they're empty, they're like, oh, I gotta check your bowl. Maybe Memphis is like, nah, I'll go for water. Yep. You know, we have a water dish on the other side of that wall, and we have yep. a water dish right here. Yep. Right. Oh, y'all. Memphis is like, now I need to go OU to his side. Yeah, right. Maybe. <laughs> now Eleanor's done, and she's gonna go check everybody else's. Yep. Here's like, ah, school friend out there? He not out there. <laughs> Hi, my this. What, you want me pets? Okay, yeah, I'll pet you. <laughs> <laughs> you're hard to film when you're under me, though. Yeah, I would like some pets. So, here is your camera back. Thank you. So, there you go. You got to enjoy. You got to enjoy the food. Mm -hmm. It smells like dog food. Memphis is like, I need to go out. I know. Can you wait, like, five more minutes? I mean, <laughs> I don't know how windy it is out there. Mm. Uh, would you like to go like, I guess I could go outside with you as soon as Memphis is done every time she's like I need to go out she's like I put food in stuff has to come out okay so if if it if it disconnects just give it a second it should reconnect we do have Wi-Fi in the backyard so so it should be okay but I need to find shoes there's a dog. There's a dog. There's a dog. Okay, look, shoes! Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're just going outside. Hold on. I have to put shoes on, unlike you girls, who don't need shoes. And Kira is going to get her short leash. So, uh, let's see here. Ready? If you guys don't know, this is Kira's short leash. This is what we use to help trick her to come back inside sometimes. And we're putting it on her. Because if not, she might never come back inside. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Snow! <laughs> uh, and they're all the way in the back of the yard. Even Memphis ran all the way back there. She's like, and I'm in the back. So there's the pool. It's over there. It's it is a covered windy, in snow. Twirly gig thing. Yeah, the whirly gig was spinning. Uh, there you go. It's a little. It's a little windy. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yesterday it had a huge, I think I got it in the vlog, it had a huge clump of snow on it. It looks so cool. Oh, by the way, for anybody guessing, it's like 10 degrees outside. Yeah, it's cold. In Fahrenheit, so Celsius, I don't know. Yeah. Just above zero. And I don't have a coat on. So like just above zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. Hi, baby. You want to go? How you doing? No, I don't want to stay out here very long. <laughs> oh, I was going to get a dog sled. No way, you were totally, we're not going to do all that. You were not. Hi, do you want to come in? If if Kira comes in, I'm coming in. Come on, Kira. You coming in? Eh, that's what I thought. Kira's like, I'm not coming in. I'm never coming in. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever. Don't eat the yellow snow, ma'am. Don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. It's been so long since I've seen you. I just got a notification. We still upload every single Saturday. So, uh... If you're not getting notifications, you should always check. But I'm glad you found us again. And you can always follow us on all of our other social media sites as well because we post there as well. Hi, Helen. Love the girls. There's my Do the dance, Memphis! Yay! I saw you doing it! I saw you dancing! Oh my gosh, it's Memphis! You happy? She's like, I'm so happy. Ready? Oh, we're gonna do it! Oh my gosh, we did it! We did it! Um, Memphis, can I have your short? There. Did it reconnect now? Hopefully, here, I'll stay, I'll sit right here. Okay, are we good? Let's see. We should be good, we should be reconnected. I don't know if you can hear me, but refresh the stream, I'm typing it in. Refresh the stream if you can hear me, and it should come back, should. That was why I was worried about going outside. There's that one little section in our landing where sometimes it disconnects. So if it's choppy or anything, just refresh. Alex said, Jess, you're so good at describing what you're doing and what dogs are doing too. So helpful. Oh, oh, thank you. I try. I try to. I know that we have a lot of visually impaired people that watch what we do. So I do try to, you know, kind of talk about what's going on. I also like the voice over my dogs. <laughs> I have not seen y'all's page in years. Well, welcome back, Michelle. We've never stopped making videos. We upload at minimum one a week. We used to do three, um, but now we only do 
one. And part of the reason is because nobody was seeing our stuff anymore. I don't want to sound like a crybaby, but that was part of the reason. We had a lot less people seeing our stuff, so we started uploading a little bit less. But uh, I have some plans. I have some ideas and different things I want to try on the channel. I just need time. Does anybody get some extra time? If I could save time in a bottle. <laughs> Eleanor's two now. If you guys are new here, or if you haven't seen us in a while, and you're wondering who the heck some of these dogs are, that black and white one over there is Kira, and she's almost five years old. Most of you probably know Memphis, even if you haven't seen us in a while, because Memphis has been around a long time. Memphis will be 11 on April 4th, and then that is Miss Eleanor. She's two years old. We got her two years ago. <laughs> uh. Well, I forgot what else I was going to say. Memphis is so cute. She is pretty cute. I don't think I missed anybody else's super chat. Thank you guys as well for the super chats. And thank you guys as well for um, all the memberships. All of you guys that are members. You guys are amazing. <laughs> if I could turn back time. I got this game that... Unfortunately, I think I'm the only one in the friend... Maybe Greg as well. But mostly me and Greg are the ones in the friends group that are going to have way too much fun with it. And it's called Game That Song. What's the name of that game? You named it. Game That Song. And oh my god, you should just pull some out of there and start asking me. Because it's so much, it's so fun. So the idea behind it is like, you have these cards and you pull a card and there's a topic. And whoever you're playing with, you're also supposed to play a song that relates to the topic on the card. We were goofing off yesterday and running through some of the cards, and I'm like, this is way too much fun for me. <laughs> uh, Helen, with the member super chat member for 36 months. Jess and Jamie, you are both the best fur baby parents in the world. Keep up with the amazing work that you guys do. You guys are the most amazing audience in the world. Podience, so, I'm sorry, the podience. Oh, here we go. So for Game That Song. Game That Song. A song to play that mentions a color. A song to play that mentions a color. Flowers are red by Harry Chapin. Red, red wine. Oh, nice. But then, but then that, now everybody gets to decide which song was the better choice. Yes. So, like, if you have four people playing, everybody would play their song. So and then you guys would vote which song matched the topic the best. So uh, everybody could probably vote for their own and not go anywhere. <laughs> but, it's true. But I'm going to vote for Jessica's because I thought hers was that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Brittany with Black Hole Sun. Yeah. Ah, nice. Nice. Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. I thought that Black one. Black Hole Sun. Oh, that's way too much fun. It's so, We just got this game yesterday, and we haven't actually played it yet. I mean, Flowers Are Red is a song about coloring. You're right, Greg. Greg probably would vote for that, too. Yeah. <laughs> Paint It Black. Oh, these are so great. Purple Rain. Deep Purple. Oh, this so, yeah, is too fun. There's a whole bunch fun. of questions like that, and you just get to choose on your own. Yeah. And here's another one. A song to play that mentions someone's name. A song to play that mentions so someone's it's name. Harder, but... I, Roxanne is the first one that came into my head. Mm, Jack and Diane. Jack and Diane. There's a good one. So, a song to play that mentions someone's name. Yeah, the, Roxanne was the first one. <laughs> What's funny is you'll clearly find out what your friend's listening to. You, yes, yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Oh, Come on, Eileen. Jesse's girl. Right. Dirty Diana. Oh, oh good no. one. Jolene, another good one. Dirty Diana, another person said dirt. That's a good one, too. Uh, pull one more. One more, Jamie. One, one more. more. One more, and then we, Sweet Caroline, Roxanne, right. Sweet there's, there's Caroline. So many Okay. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. I don't know if they make a Bellies Up song. But oh, a no. song to play when you wake up in the morning and it's going to be a beautiful day. Get Up by Shinedown. Get Up by Shinedown. <laughs> <laughs> Better than uh, uh... So it's a song to wake up. A beautiful Day by U2. Right, right. A song I think to... that's the one I thought in my head. Probably. Because it says it right in the song. Right. A song to play when you wake up in the morning and it's going to be a beautiful day. Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. Mr. Blue Sky. <laughs> Any song by Nickelback. Oh, this is great. Oh, so definitely uh, a, a fun game to play. It, yeah, I, I'm kind of excited about it. <laughs> the Barbie song. Uh, yeah, it was it was a neat game. Over the Rainbow, somewhere over Blue the rainbow. Monday. Blue Monday. Blue Monday. Oh, they said it was going to be a good day, not a well, yeah, you know. mediocre. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I have to get this game. So it's called Game That Song. We will be doing a review of it over on the review channel, which if you guys don't know, we have a review channel where we review things. It's called the review videos. Um, it's a, it got sent to us so we could review it along with a couple of other games, but oh my gosh, I'm like, they need to keep putting out versions of this game because I feel like, I feel like we could run through all these cards so quickly. And if you guys don't know, I am like music obsessed. The most important thing in my life besides my dogs and, you know, my family, my husband and all that is music. <laughs> uh, so I have to have music going all the time. It's my favoriteest thing, so. Jamie and I are going to see Shinedown in Mount Pleasant on the 7th of June. I'm so excited. Oh, she's got it. Eleanor, don't take that from her. You got it? Kira's like, oh, is she going to do it? There it is. She's going to do it. Let's see if she does it. Are you singing Rudolph? Are you singing? Oh, oh. <laughs> the reflection distracted her. Hi, cute. Hi, what? <laughs> you gotta go get Rudolph. You were bugging dad to get. What? Don't land on Memphis. Oh, she's like, boop. Get Rudolph. That's Kira's Rudolph toy. We have to put it away. So she can't get to it whenever we're not around. But that's her Rudolph toy. I think I have two more of those left. I bought a bunch of them on Amazon once I found out how much. See, she'll do it. Go sing with Rudolph? You go sing with Rudolph? Woo, 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 woo. Woo, 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 woo. Normally she sings to Rudolph. She's thinking about it. Have you ever been to Arkansas? We have been to Arkansas. <laughs> it's not Christmas, but Kira does love her Rudolph toy. I don't, I don't know. She does love that Rudolph toy. Did I miss the tricks? You mm -hmm. did. We we let them do their tricks while I was feeding them dinner. <gasps> Look at this! What do we have here? Oh my goodness! What do we say? We know it's gonna be a good day, cause the bellies are up. She's like, oh yeah, mom, scratch it right there. Scratching my belly. Yeah, I scratched your belly. I did. Oh, Kira's, mm -hmm. Kira's chasing the reflection off my phone. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. Look at that floofer tail. When I turn my phone a certain way, it makes a reflection on the wall. <laughs> I, can't, I can't film her at the same time. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Belly's up and full of food. Yeah. We drove through Arkansas. I don't think we stayed in Arkansas. I think we just drove through there. But I don't remember. Did I miss the Shooper's hat? No, I got it. I got it. Oh, sorry. Sunny Cybe up. Yep, sure is. I have a Siberian Husky, too. They have a lot of fur. Yes, yes, they do. I heard you earlier singing the Willy Wonka song. Have you seen the new one? No, it's on my list of things to watch. But no, I haven't seen it. I haven't watched anything new lately. I watched the Barbie movie. And yeah, I did watch that. Oh, are you playing with Kira's Rudolph? <laughs> the it's in that drawer in there mm. i don't know if the batteries are good in it but that is where it's at but you gotta be careful because they'll bash noggins can you play hide and seek with your dogs i that is something else i want to do if you as i say if you put eleanor on the other side kira can play with it that tail, that tail just goes. Look at that tail. Oh, uh, is it dead? Yeah, it was dying. I think that one takes a AAA battery, though. Put it in front of Memphis. She, <laughs> Eleanor knows where it comes from. I say sometimes Memphis will see it and get excited, too. <laughs> They're like, whoa, wait, what is it? They're, oh, Memphis did it. I missed it. She saw it, too. Kira's like, where is it? Where is it, Dad? Where is it? Where's the Azer? Where is it? I love how Eleanor just stares at your hand. Memphis, it's on the ground in front of you. Memphis, look down. It's right there. Look down, Memphis. <laughs> She's like, uh. Is, is the producer RFS Dan doing a live stream tonight? Yes, I believe he's doing Dantics tonight. So if you guys want to do some live trivia, that's over on Dan's channel tonight at, I don't know what time, because I think it's early, but I don't remember. I don't remember. 
um, 4 p.m. for the Westerners, so 7 o'clock Eastern. <laughs> We've been to South Dakota. We sure have. Oh, no batteries. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That's okay. That's okay, <laughs> Kira. Says, like, that's okay. I didn't know you were live. We sure are. We yeah. sure are. You can shut it off. I, I have used to that comment up there. So. Yeah, but I've been looking at him here more than there because every time I look up there, the TV always looks weird. Right. <laughs> uh. Oh, which reminds me, the hockey game's on. Mm -hmm. I have it muted, so you can turn it on. Sorry, I forgot the game started at four. Right. Um. Did y'all go to Louisiana? I don't think we've ever been to Louisiana together. We were trying to figure that out. Hey, ma'am, that's Kira's toy. Ma'am. I've been through Louisiana as a kid. I've been... I'm pretty sure I've been through Louisiana, when but I don't remember. You went from Florida to Texas. You probably were. You and I went from through Florida, through Texas to Michigan. Yeah, but we, we went north to Texas. Right. <laughs> Boop! She's like, what? Yeah, I forgot the hockey game started at four today mm -hmm. i forgot are we winning it's a commercial <laughs> we haven't been doing very good is no we haven't is the omega mart worth the price of admission yes <laughs> holy wow yes it is definitely worth the price of admission how's memphis's leg after her surgery she's actually doing really well after this, we're going to figure out some dinner for us, because the dogs have had some dinner. I don't know why, but I always feel like when there's a Red Wings game on, we're supposed to eat Little Caesars pizza. But mm -hmm. if we ate Little Caesars pizza every time there was a Red Wings game on, we would never like pizza. We again. would never want pizza again. And I don't know, I made some deep dish pizza last night, which... We, we did make our own deep dish pizza, which was, was pretty good. pretty dang good. Pokemon fan, does Memphis still play with cat toys? Yes, and thank you for the super chat, my friend. She does still play with cat toys. And we, we had pre-mixed dough. Do you remember who made? Detroit-style pizza. It was Detroit-style pizza dough? Yeah, just Detroit-style pizza company. That's okay. where I got my pan, and that is where I got the dough. And I wanted to start with their dough. Yeah, I was I was just going to say, if you, so if you're not good at making dough... It was or, perfect. All I had to do was add water. Yeah, or don't want to. <laughs> yeah, um, I wanted to try it with their dough first because I wanted to make sure I could properly use the pan. Right. And then once I go through the dough I have from them, my plan is to then start perfecting my own Detroit-style pizza dough. And, and you'll realize after you've had the their dough that when you make your own... You're gonna miss the mark a hundred times. You're yeah. You'll be like, man, this just doesn't taste the same as that other pizza. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll get it. I'll get there. It's yep. just gonna take practice. Yep. Everything takes practice. Maybe finding a good recipe. Right? I found a couple online. I found one that replicates the Buddies pizza, which mm. was my favorite one. Which, by the way, I did find out that when we drive through, we'll only be ten minutes away from Buddies Pizza. Mm -hmm. So as long as we get there before they close, ma'am. Are you looking at the reflection on the wall? Ma'am, you're not a cat. Ma'am. Could be. She's like, oh yeah, watch me. I'm gonna get the reflection on the wall. <laughs> and back to the reflection on the wall. But as soon as I turn this way, you can't see it no more. She's like, I'm just looking at pictures of my sisters, mom. I don't know what you're talking about. I just, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Power's back on, gotta shut the generator down and plug things back into the house. Oh my goodness. I didn't, I didn't know that. She's 100% a cat. Yes, Greg, she 100% is a cat. We all know it. Kira is a cat. She's just a 41, two pound cat. She's a whole bunch of cats in one. Oh, hey, hon, look. We're not losing. <laughs> we're not winning, but we're not losing, which is good. <laughs> uh. So we've been going for almost an hour and a half. We probably are going to go ahead and end this soon. Did she get to know Shelby? Uh, Kira did. Kira was around when we had Shelby. Eleanor was not, but Kira did. Memphis was too. Memphis was too. Memphis was around <laughs> when we had Shelby. But Kira was, what, like six or seven months old when Shelby That's passed away? Eric. Was that Eric? Is that is that what you were looking at? Was that <laughs> Mr. Eric? She's like, that was Mr. Eric. Look at them pretty brown eyes. Look at them pretty brown eyes. Kira's 40% cat. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yes, she did. She knew. She knew Shelby. Uh, Shelby passed away the same year we got Kira. Kira was born March thirteenth, twenty nineteen, and we lost Shelby September fifth, twenty nineteen. So they knew each other at least for a little while. And her attitude rubbed off on you. If you learned anything from anyone, you got some attitude from that dog. Tell you what. You learned how to be a boy. Yeah, you learned how to pick on other dogs. That's what Shelby taught you. <laughs> and back to the... Hi. There's, yeah, there's a husky butt. Stop it. You can't catch it. You can't catch the reflection. I swear you can't. I can't. It's up there. Look, look up there. Look, look. It's up there. Look. Oh. She's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait, wait, somebody here? That's not what I said, but okay. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys. We are going to go ahead and end today's live stream. Thank you so much for joining us. And again, before we go, pin to the top of the comments is the Kira plushie. Five more days. Five more days to get your Kira plushie, and then they're gone for good. So if you're going to get one, do it now. Five more days. Well, I must be hungry because that looks good. <laughs> uh, uh. So there's a little cure with the frozen apple. It's the comment that is pinned in the top of the chat. And then down in the video description below is links to our Beacons page. Make sure you guys are following us on all of our social media because we post a lot of fun stuff and, uh, you know, updates for when videos go up and things like that. Now are you both doing it? Mm, Eleanor's chasing Kira. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Hi, Eleanor. Oh, excuse you, Piggly Wiggly. My goodness. My good... I hear a snow machine. Where is he? Is it the neighbor? I hear him. I hear him going, brap, 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 brap. I don't see it now, though. No, no. I was wondering if he was going to come by. I was, too. I was kind of hoping. I'm like, oh, who's going by in a snow machine? <laughs> uh. All right, you guys. Thank you again for joining us for our live stream. If you missed, I know Valentine's Day is over, but if you missed the two most recent videos we put up, we did some Valentine's special videos, a treat, and a 10 reason why dogs make the best Valentine, with a lot, which a lot of you guys did miss. Um, you should definitely go check those out. And also check out our vlog channel at youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs. Thank you to all the new people that stopped by to say hello. You guys are amazing. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed what you saw and you'll stick around and check out some of our other content. Are you fluffing the couch? Are you fluff the couch? Fluff it out. Fluff the couch. Hi. Now you're really close. I can't see what you're doing. All right, you guys. We hope you guys enjoyed today's live stream. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again soon thank you again to everybody for your super chats thank you again to everybody for becoming members don't forget to go check out some of those members only videos and uh yeah we will see you again soon we're gonna watch this hockey game and hopefully we're gonna win it's gonna happen well maybe it'll happen should happen all right goodbye everybody say goodbye party it's goodbye party it's goodbye party all right see if i can remember how to end the live stream <laughs>